At the beginning of October, Moody's released a research report that looked at mortgage delinquencies in 65 regions throughout Australia. I'm discussing the report with Terry Hunt from Smartline. Terry's a leading mortgage broker here on the Central Coast. Hi Terry, uh, you've read the report. Um, how do you see this affects uh, mortgages here on the Central Coast? Well, this report broke down the um, Australia into regions, um, unlike other reports which try and break Australia down to postcodes. So the Central Coast being its own region has been identified in this report. And what the report has shown is that delinquencies in mortgages tend to increase um, the greater you get away from the city centre. So areas such as the Central Coast, um, Fairfield, Liverpool, Campbelltown, uh, Blacktown, those areas which are almost equidistant from the city are all suffering from higher rates of mortgage delinquency. What did the report say about the Central Coast? The report, the report showed that we're uh, ranked number four in terms of delinquencies, both 30 and 90 day delinquencies, which means people are in arrears on their mortgages for those periods of time or longer. And um, out of 65 regions in Australia, um, being ranked number four isn't probably a good thing for the coast and is reflective of the fact that uh, our markets are, um, are suffering, I guess. Now, it's probably worth mentioning, Bob, that um, you know, delinquencies here on the coast currently run at about 3.32% of the total Australian delinquencies, yet the amount of mortgages written on the coast as a percentage are about 1.67% nationally. Um, and that shows that our delinquency rates are relatively high compared to um, the rest of Australia. Are there any implications from this situation for Central Coast borrowers? Uh, the implications are that um, banks could restrict lending. Uh, at this point in time, however, um, the, the banks and, and other lenders regard the Central Coast as part of Greater Sydney and apply the same lending criteria here as they would in, in a metropolitan area of Sydney. But they'd certainly be looking at it and looking at the delinquencies and um, maybe adjusting their lending policy uh, accordingly. And is there a, a likely flow-on effect from this to uh, vendors and the pro property market? Uh, there is a flow-on effect and that's been identified post-GFC as banks began to wind back their loan devaluation ratios initially at 95 to 100 percent is what you could borrow here on the coast and uh, post-GFC banks restricted that to 85 to 90 percent, increased the requirements for genuine savings um, and effectively made the criteria to get a loan a lot harder and that's reduced the number of first-time buyers in our marketplace and subsequently that's affected demand for property and ultimately price. Um, it kind of uh, means that um, if people are having difficulty here on the coast with their mortgage repayments that their discretionary income has been reduced. Uh, is there a noticeable flow on of that effect to business in general here? Look I don't know that it's necessarily a result of discretionary income reduction. It's possibly um, more a situation where people have relied in the last 10 years on equity and property and that equity growth has been something they've continued to borrow against to fund their standard of living they've become accustomed to. And without the equity growth, um, they're, they're no longer able to borrow to do that. Um, and that's now impacted other debts. So in addition to their home loan, they're often carrying uh, personal debt for cars or pers other loans holidays, travel, etc. Um, traditionally, they'd consolidate that er debt every three or four years yeah. um, into the equity in their home. Without the equity growth, of course, they're no longer in a position to do that. They now find they're in a position where they can't service all the debt that they've taken on, and that's why our delinquencies of defaults are increasing. Um, do you see any specific hotspots here on the coast where um, there may be a higher level of de delinquency? I haven't seen statistics that show specifically uh, delinquencies, but uh, I think that you'd say that the areas that are higher in first-time buyer status, um, in other words, those areas that have high loan devaluation ratios, um, they'll be the ones that suffer most from these higher delinquencies. Is there any advice that uh, you could give, Terry, to people that are potentially feeling the stress at the moment? Yeah, people that are feeling mortgage stress, and, and there's a large number of people in the community that, that start to feel stress, certainly as interest rates rise, and I think interest rates over the next um, 12 or 18 months will continue to rise. Um, I think the first thing is to identify that there is a problem and to address the problem early and don't let it fester. Uh, many people find themselves in a position where they can consolidate debt or they do have some avenues to restructure their finance to make things to improve their cash flow position. People often leave it till it's too late, wait till there's a mortgage default in place 
or late payments on a loan, credit cards are over the limits. And at that stage, it's usually too late to actually um, resolve the problem. So my best advice would be if you're under mortgage stress, if you've got miscellaneous debt, if you're looking for ways to improve your cash flow or um, reduce the stress, talk to a good mortgage broker and see whether there's some ways to um, consolidate what you've got before it's too late.